We're at Sony booth at CES 2011, and as you know, we have a giant booth here. There's a portion of this booth that's actually dedicated to technologies that our engineers are still working on. Now, if you got to be at the booth, you stood in line and you got to see some of those things. But for those of you who couldn't make it or didn't wait in the lines, here's a closer look. This is a totally immersive um, 3D display. We have two OLED screens, one for each eye, and integrated uh, headphones. So you have a you know, wraparound sound. It, it makes you feel like you're sitting in front of a big screen in a big theater. All the magic is, is inside. So you have the two OLED screens and you have you know, the lenses to uh, make sure the, the, uh, the light hits your eyes. Yeah, properly. What do you see in there when you put those glasses it's, on? It's, so you see, uh, you know, an image of a large, you know, movie theater screen in 3D, and you know, it's very, very clear. And you know, once you put the headphones on, you know, it drowns out everything else. So it, it almost, it's almost like you're by yourself in a big movie theater. This is another one of our 3D prototypes. This is a 24 and a half inch OLED that can display 3D without the need for glasses. So not, on, not only are the OLEDs, uh, you know, thinner, you can, you know, put them, you know, up, up on a wall like it was a poster, but, you know, it's more uh, more efficient. We have, uh, you know, some uh, en engineers that are working, you know, with OLED displays, and this is one of the applications. This is, you know, it, it lends itself very well, you know, to the, the, the 3D uh, viewing experience. This is another one of our prototype 3D displays. This is a portable uh, Blu-ray player that can uh, display 3D without the need to, to uh, use glasses. The top part is just a screen, you know, which swivels so you can adjust the position. And then the bottom part, you know, this is where you put the disc in to enjoy your movies. It's just something the engineers are, are working on, but we wanted to show everybody, you know, a glimpse into the future.